Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us take an ambiguous grammar and try to remove it, guys. Guys, this is just a standard example from the textbook, guys. So that's the reason why I was able to do step by step. Basically, removing ambiguity is not that easy for a particular grammar because ambiguity, there is no particular method or steps which you can follow and remove it. So basically, you need to understand how it is happening and everything. And you should make sure that the power of the grammar before removing and after removing should be exactly same only then you can say that i removed the ambiguity of the grammar without any issues okay so in that way so basically that's the reason why i'm just specifying it clearly okay okay so e implies e plus e e implies e into e e implies id the string is id plus id into id okay so if you observe by observing just by observing also you can say that okay so there is a high chance of ambiguity here right yes so even by observing we will be getting an idea right yes so if you observe here so this is our string right Okay, so I have two options. I can directly start from E plus E or E into E. So here the option is in my hands. So that's the reason why once I took E plus E and one other times I took E into E. So I used a leftmost derivation. So here I changed this E into ID and this E I expanded. This E again I changed to ID and this E again I changed to ID. So here I got in one way and in the other way I took E into E, right? So this E I changed into E plus E. This E I changed it to ID. This E I changed it to ID. This E I changed it to ID. Okay. So I got the same string, but we got two different ways, right? So here I took a plus a first and here I took into first. So these are ambiguous. And again, the note thing is that we used a leftmost derivation only in the both cases. Yes. Yes. Hence, you can clearly say that the grammar is ambiguous. So now your question will be, okay, so now we proved it. So how can we remove it? Are there any kind of specific steps to follow or anything? Yes. So I did search for this a lot and I found steps guys, few steps through which you can remove, but I'm not 100% sure that you can remove for any grammar. You can remove under some circumstances. Okay. Okay. So removal of ambiguity of the above grammar. So by adding precedence. So if you add precedence, so precedence is nothing but which has the highest priority. Okay. So here in our precedence, for this grammar, to resolve this grammar, I am giving for ID, I am giving the highest precedence. For multiplication, the second highest and positive, the least precedence. Okay. So note that the in the precedence order, that is nothing but high to low, you will be writing the rules in the reverse order, guys. Please remember that because we will be following bottom up approach, right? So that is the reason why the bottom, you need to have ID. After that, you need to have multiplication. After that, you need to have addition. Okay. So that is the reason why adding productions adding this ambiguity sorry removing this ambiguity using the precedence we will be converting the grammar into in this way so e tends to e into e so instead of e into e i converted into e plus a t and i gave from t i gave t tends to t into f from f i gave id so if you notice here i just reversed these things guys so i just flipped them like this so plus into id okay so in this way if you design here indirectly the ambiguity of id is high after that multiplication after that positive okay so now the grammar is removed some part of ambiguity okay but still there could be a chance of ambiguity so that is the reason why you will be adding associativity guys like left to left recursive plus left associative or right recursive plus right associative associative so based on the thing so if you observe here here we are having left recursion right so let us follow left associative. So whenever there is a clash between two operations, solve it from a left hand side. So that is nothing but a left associative guys, left to right. Okay. Yes. So by using these two tricks, you can remove the ambiguity in most of the simple grammars guys. Okay. Okay. So now this grammar will not be having any kind of ambiguity guys. If you want, you can even try. So E will always first give E plus T and this T will give T into F. And now we got our ID. This from here also you'll be getting ID. From here also you'll get ID plus ID into ID. Guys, I've just skipped the E to T and all those steps. I just written the outline, guys. Okay. So in this way. So now there is no other parse tree, right? So that's the reason why now this grammar is not ambiguous. Right? Yes. So I hope everyone got some basic idea about removal, guys. Okay. So in the next lecture, we'll be discussing about Bacchus norm form and extended Bacchus norm form. Okay. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching.